welcome to the MBS Show, a Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Or today on Baking with Silver Quill, we will learn how to have a heart attack. Hmm, baking? Heart attack? How's that? You use butter for everything. Oh, I can't believe that's not butter. Oh, that just means you're a heathen. Burn the witch! <laughs> also joining us is the Terra. Well, I think what you should do, instead of using butter, maybe margarine will help. Silver. He's sus. Marjorie, what are you? Are you a commie? <laughs> maybe. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to review Season 1, Episode 6 of Pony Life. In this episode, Pinkie Pie struggles to help out her friends while preparing for the final round of the Royal Jelly Juggernaut. So, before we head into, well, the episode... Uh, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Well, i got to be honest, this, this didn't leave a big impression on me. It's a different presentation for Pinky is instead of the hyper party planner, which we usually expect, she's more the ever helpful go-to friend, which, to be honest, I used to associate that with Applejack. So switcheroo. <laughs> she's stealing more of Applejack's gimmick every day. Indeed. But Applejack's stealing her fourth wall humor. So, I guess it all balances out in the end. But, as a finale to the Joy- Royal Jelly Juggernaut competition, this is a bit meh. I kind of find it interesting, really. But, anywho, um, Tara, what do you think? Mm, I, f- I find this kind of odd. Like, pretty much how Silver put it, put it. Didn't leave an impression on me either. It was, like, all over the place. So much stuff was happening so fast. And the way things ended, it's like, okay, that just happened. Yeah, the show is 11 minutes long and they really, I won't say rush, but they really compact a lot of things into one or into that 11 minutes. And as for me, it was interesting. It was an interesting ending. But anywho, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So anywho, we start off the episode with our hero... Uh, preparing a nice, beautiful strawberry layer cake. And somehow the cake is missing. Oh no, what could have happened to it? It seems that, well, the cake is alive and is running away from Pinky. Oh no, that's not great. Oh, for a minute there, I thought you were going to make a portal joke. I actually the thought you were going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I got no good lead. <laughs> I got no good lead in. So I decided not to. And Princess Celestia is taunting Pinky and her, all her friends. And somehow it was just a nightmare. Oh goodness. So she needs to get ready for the cake. And well, before she could even start, Fluttershy bursts in with foals. And she's somehow full sitting and she got no idea how to... Do it and ask Pinky for help. And I'm going to pause here. So guys, what do you think, Silva? Who asked Fluttershy to full sit? I mean, I know Friendship is Magic tackled this, but this ain't Friendship is Magic. Gotta gotta be firm on that. True. And also when she full sit, it was for her best friend's uh, little sisters. I'm just grateful that the demon child is not amongst them staring at me with his eternal eyes, unblinking, unwavering. The abyss looked really adorable. <laughs> oh, no. Is that also? Here's the thing. P- Pinky's been in a contest. We've never met one of her contestants, you know, one of her opponents. And I, I got to say, without that, this doesn't really feel like a competition. I mean, it doesn't have to be a negative uh, opponent. It could be uh, just another baker who sh- with whom she becomes a friend. And then she's like, oh, is, is it cool to be friends with this person while we're competing? Granted, we'll actually tackle that later in this series. Okay. I guess that's part of why this is a big man. It's like, oh, there's a big contest going on. Interruptions are coming in. And I feel nothing. For this contest is just for fun. All right. And Terra? I mean, I don't really got much to say. It's a dream sequence. Although Fluttershy coming in saying, 
you can't have Pinky without Pie. And she has like the... She just looks horrifying, for starters. <laughs> uh, that's true. Her eyes. Her eyes, yes. But then the whole foe sitting, it's like... They still look. They they still have. Uh, they still look like nightmare fuel. <laughs> but, it's the demon childs. Yes, exactly. But, uh, yeah, they just come up out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, I'm full sitting. Yeah, and well, th- th- this from from this point on, things keep piling on to Pinky because uh, she she still has time when uh, starting with Fluttershy. What it was like five a.m. something like that they mentioned. And as time goes on, early morning baker. Yep. As time goes on, we we see Twilight procrastinate, uh, and she hates it, and she needs to set up her uh, projector for the whatever she needs to do, and things keep piling on. Then we get a really six rainbow dash because why is she even there? And she asks Pinky to nurse her to health. Then we get. Well, mm, Rarity. R- <laughs> Rarity kidnapping Pinky to ask for her opinion or for her feedback on beautifying Sugar Cube Corner. I mean, that is strange. And also Applejack moving chairs. And from that point on, Pinky panics and uh, just... Yeah, Pinky panics. The, and that's the end of part one. Wow, this is short. It is short. I mean, the thing about these Pony Life episodes is that not a lot happens. It seems like a lot. Like, in, like when when you sit down and watch, it seems like a lot happened. But when but when you really break it down, nothing really happens. Well, a lot. Of, there's a lot of sound and fury. You know, there's a lot of audio stimuli, but there's not a lot of you know, meat to it. When you summarize these events, they're usually one sentence. Fluttershy is full city. Rainbow Dash has, has the COVID. Ah! God, no. Get out of there! I mean, I'm sorry, but this came at a very uncomfortable time. I mean, just be like, Rainbow, go home! <laughs> Quarantine yourself. <laughs> no, everyone's wearing face masks. Oh, God! Even Twilight. <laughs> Even Twilight. So I just, I'm drawing all the wrong conclusions. Like, no, no, this is not what I need right now. <laughs> Damn you, Pony Life! Damn you! Uh, true, true. Uh, but still, yeah, oh, uh, man, th- that was pretty short. Tara, what what do you have to say, man? I mean, I know the same friendship is magic, but they could at least, you know, be understanding. It's like, oh, maybe we're putting too much on her, and with, you know, because they, they're asking for too much for her, and it's like, don't they know that she has the the jelly juggernaut thing because they were right there when she made it and uh, like do they completely forgot about it or what yeah that, that's another fact that the or the characters kind of miss because uh out of, out, of, out of all the days that they could ask for help or anything it's the day that pinky pie needs to rush and finish the competition it's the final by the way so yeah that's putting a lot of stress on her I am, however, offended by Rarity's comment about the color black, because, you know, as a black OC myself. <laughs> but black, it is devoid of light or color. Still, though, come on, like, you haven't sh- did, she didn't think that, you know, maybe there's any other black ponies out there? Like, Well, I mean, I'm red and black, but, you know, that's the difference. I mean, in terms of colors, black, it is devoid of light. Isn't that right, Silver? Oh, not true, not true. Not tr- Depends on what style you're going with. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. If you're going with subtractive colors, I believe is the term, uh, or uh, you mix all the colors together, all of them, and you get black. Mm-hmm. So black is every color. It absorbs the entire visual spectrum. See? Unless you're going for that really, really dark black that absorbs light. Well, in that case, you want, uh, in print terms, you want 60% cyan, 60% magenta, 40% yellow, and 100% key. Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot you work for the printings. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's too inside baseball for me. So, see, yes, you, you know not what you've unleashed, saying black has no light to it, no color. Oh, I could get into the archetypal black. <laughs> 
What about greys? Well, that that's just black on a lazy day. <laughs> There's no the Fifty Shades of it. <laughs> well, that's just painful. <laughs> uh, my segues are terrible. But anywho, talking about painful, uh, we continue on with part two, where we get to see the crew doing their stuff and Pinkie Pie panicking until she gets a phone call from Princess Celestia. Princess Celestia ask where the hey are you and you need to be here doing your stuff ASAP and with that everybody realized that yo a Pinkie Pie needs to be at the studio ASAP like oh wow um, we really shouldn't have asked her to help our help us with our things on this day so they rush to the Cantaloupe TV station that's weird to see. And Pinkie Pie tells the crew to, well, do your stuff and we may we will make a cake tower of stuff. And we get to see the crew do their thing, like uh, Applejack doing a uh, carrot cake, Pink, what, uh, Fluttershy doing a devil's angel fruit cake, something like that. Uh, Twilight doing a chocolate cake and so on. And with that, once everything's done, they stack everything together to make the really interesting tower cake, something like that. Princess Celestia says, wow, that cake looks awesome and uh, what's the inspiration and whatnot. And Pinkie Pie just says, the the inspiration is my friends, blah, 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 and so on. I mean, you're watching it, you should know. And yay, awesomeness. Princess Celestia says the cake is delicious, but Pinkie Pie is disqualified. When asked why, they just say that, yeah, uh, this is not a group effort. This is an individual competition, and you just broke the rules. Pinkie Pie just asked, like, wait, why didn't anyone stop me? And they say it was for the drama, because you guys were having a lot of awesome bonding and stuff and we couldn't have the heart to say no and with that Pinkie Pie lost what yes oh my goodness you see this one this part has more to unpack the first one sort of set up this one's all everything comes together come comes to fruition but starting with that awkward awkward phrase Princess Celestia calls Pinkie on her cell phone this series features far more modern tech, and it's jarring for me. It's so jarring to see these ponies on, on tablets and cell phones, and Celestia is a TV producer. Just like, what? What is going on? What is this anymore? Feels like the whole princess thing doesn't exist here. Oh, no, it does. It really doesn't. Well, I feel like it does. It's just, uh, to me, this is just Celestia... Um, how do I put this? This is just Celestia abusing her power to get more cake. Well, if everyone was frustrated by the Celestia eats cake jokes in Frenchman's Magic, they're going to be super pissed this time around. <laughs> so true. But anyway, I got to look up the image of the whole no groups thing because it's told it it's not told with words; it is told simply with imagery, and it's open to a pretty broad interpretation. Yeah, Let's see here. But I, I they, they did mention that what the signboard was there since day one, and like what it was there from day one, and Pinky didn't notice it. Like, I'm just looking at this. I'm just pulling up this image because this is just madness. Okay, yeah, no, no. This really, this just demonstrates a clear uh, green. Pink bias. <laughs> no, this is saying green ponies are the master race. Granny Smith is in the back like, yeah! That sign could mean a lot of things. A checkerboard formation is not uh, recommended. Instead, merge into one super being. <laughs> uh, so you're just reaching for this one. <laughs> well, let's see here. Oh, cloning is not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're reaching <laughs> silver. What are you talking about? It's the exact same pony five times over. Clearly, the mirror pool is off limits. <laughs> no shadow clones, yes. No kakebuchin no jitsu. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those cases where 
Pinky should have known the rules. Like, what? Why, why did she? Oh wait, no. There's even more. You notice the there's a milkshake and a pie at the top, and the milkshake is over the xed out five ponies. The pie is over the checked off one. Clearly, this is Celestia saying the cakes, uh, the pies are a master culinary. Yay. No milkshakes will be allowed here. <laughs> no milkshakes will bring the boys to the yard. <laughs> Wait, who, Tara, what do you have to say? I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I mean, again, I don't really have much to say because everything's happening so fast. Like, again, like pretty much what Silo said, the whole thing with the phones and tablets with uh, ponies, it's like, I get it, you know, the younger generation, I mean, we have kids that are like, I don't know, maybe five years old or six, maybe even younger have phones already, which is a bit sad, but you know, that's how the world is these days. So I guess that's why they probably put that in there. Although I am curious how sharp those tablets are because Pinky used her tablet to cut the cake in half. (laughs) That is true. And I don't know if, I don't think this would be appropriate to say, but all I can say is Celestia, she ate that really tall cake down so... Uh, I guess you say so quickly that, uh, you know, I don't know if it's necessary, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut about it. <laughs> I, mean, I think uh, you know what I'm going to say, though. Yeah, mum's the word. Mm. Mum's the word. Yeah. <laughs> but, Although, on the topic of Pinky's cutting with the tablets, because she she paid extra for the assassination model. Oh, my God. I oh. kill you. <laughs> yeah, Pink, Pink is looking very sus. <laughs> very sus. Uh, but, anywho, let's carry on. Uh, back in Shukuku Corner the next day, I think, uh, Pinky is depressed and is making chocolate soup. Um, and yeah, Applejack t- gets a taste of it, says it's really nice and gives you a pickup. But anywho, uh, Pinkie Pie gets over her s- slump and says that, uh, it, it was nothing. I mean, I should have taken care of myself a bit more. And the rest of the group say they're sorry. And Rainbow Dash says, yeah, you should really take care of yourself first. And upon saying that, she realized that, oh, I need to go back home and rest. Okay. Twilight escorts Rainbow Dash out the door and give it give her a good spray of in- <laughs> disinfectant. It's like, ah, this is too relevant. <laughs> stop it. Just stop. <laughs> You know, in if if this was done before the pandemic, it it would be funny. But looking at Pinkie Pie and Twilight wearing masks, it's just so meta. I don't even. I can't even escape it in my fiction now. <laughs> oh, this year sucks. <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. This year's gonna be great. I just find it funny how. Oh, sorry. No, no. Go ahead, Tara. I just I just find it funny how they say they they say pretty much how the whole world should do it go home and rest or in this case stay home and rest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Right now, for Malaysia, is getting more relevant because we just get we just got a spike of what two sixty to seventy out of what our one or two, like. Mmm, so relevant. Pony life on the cutting edge. <laughs> ah, just, ah, just cut it out. Just <laughs> and let me enjoy a world where this isn't a problem. And you know what, Silver? The just dumb, the dumbest part is this episode came out in July. <laughs> well, I don't know how long production is for this thing, but did anyone say hey, even longer? <laughs> maybe we shouldn't do this. Ah, what the hey, sorry. We've already made the uh, name tags. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, like, oh man, this is this is one of those cases where video game production was made. Like, they they they, they did it well, like about a few years ago. Suddenly, when it came out, oh, Overwatch is popular. Dang. Oh, the Paladins game. Yep. <laughs> Although, here you go. Th- those name tags I mentioned just say. I animated Rainbow Dash being sick, and all I got was this stupid name tag. <laughs> uh, boys. But anywho, carrying on. Uh, a letter comes in through the door, inviting Pinkie Pie to participate in the Royal Juggernaut 
uh, Royal Jelly Juggernaut cook off. Um, what was it again? Um, the All Stars episode. Like what? How could they be an All Star episode if this is just the what first? Well, it, they did mention that this Juggernaut cook off was previously done before. So yeah, ah, Pinkie Pie's there. So that's good. And with that, Pinkie Pie gives everybody a hug, tells them to skedaddle and yeah, go home because she needs to get some practice on what she needs to bake next. With that, episode ends. Get the fudge out. Indeed. So, let's wrap it up. Silver, what do you think? It's a thing. It happened. There's, again, not a tremendous set of stakes. I mean, the very first episode, Pinky said she was doing this just for fun. And while it's understandable that she'd be frustrated that she lost due to a technicality, this was never anything she pinned her hopes on. This is not Rarity trying to make a name for herself in the fashion world, or Fluttershy trying to overcome a personal weakness to feel and feel like she made an accomplishment. This is more Sweetie Belle at the Sister of Social. I don't care if we won. It was so much fun. And so... Pinky losing really doesn't have an emotional uh, reaction from me. It's just a thing that happened. I'm actually more sad that this is the last we'll see of Celestia for all but one episode of the series. I don't think she appears in anything other than the conclusion of Fluttershy's camping arc. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, there's also Luna. Is she not around? Luna is not around. She is... Well, maybe maybe she's doing all the princessy things while... Celestia runs a TV show. But either way, there will be very, 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 very little Princess Celestia for the rest of this series. You gotta deal with it, lads. We gotta deal with it. I guess so. My new tarot, what about you? As I said earlier, it's all over the place. Like Everything's happening so fast, but I guess that's the thing with Pony Life, how everything happens so fast. How... It's like, oh, Pinky's doing all these jobs, and then she's going to rush to go do the cake, and then she does the cake, but it's like, why didn't you stop us? And then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, we forgive you, you're doing the All-Stars now. It's like, wait, slow down, can we take this, like, can we take a breather? But no, we can't. <laughs> what is sus? Exactly. And as for me, this episode was interesting. I, I do like the end where Pinkie Pie is disqualified for not following the rules, but the whole thing seems a bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, rush. Like, everything is like, boom, this, boom, that. Like, yeah, mix this, mix that, already done. Here, okay, um, put in some hot water in the ramen. Uh, now, add in the flavor, wait for five minutes, and then, boom, done, now go eat. It feels rushed. But overall, it was okay. I do hope that later episodes have a lot of more fun. Well, to to be honest, a lot of episodes are going to stop being parts one and two and just be a self-contained episode. Yeah, I mean, like, what, the episode itself already at 11 minutes and uh, one part or one episode is already five minutes long. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's going to there's gonna be rush, like, too rush. Yep, so expect things to go even faster. What happened to the good old days of 22 minute or 20, well, half an hour episodes? Like, what happened to those? They concluded their run. Well, the, true, but what I'm thinking is like, you remember the good old days of cartoons? Like, what? Um, Fairly Odd Parents, Penny Phantom, even what? Cow and Chicken? especially anything from Cartoon Network back in the days, they had at least, what, half an hour block, but they could insert in two or three shows in one episode or part. I mean, I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought, but you know what I mean. I get you. I think right now, one, this style is cheaper to produce, and therefore it's a good placeholder, really. In between series, we get just quick little snippets. But more than that, I, I worry that in this modern era of tablets and smartphones, uh, production companies basically figure are uh, the youth have attention spans of hyperactive puppies on chocolate, 
Oh, wait, no, don't give chocolate <laughs> to puppies. Bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Bad uh, silly. But basically, you're just hyper kids, can't pay attention for more than 10 minutes, so you test them by making an 11-minute cartoon. That's it. I guess, but still, like, oh, man. I remember watching Cow and Chicken back in the day, and that was fun. Like what you have Cow and Chicken, and then like uh, I are uh, what I am Weasel and something like that. Like man, at least those days. <laughs> the more I think about it, right? Like the more I miss those kind of things. Even SpongeBob. SpongeBob has what multiple episodes in uh, a show, something like that, or multiple parts in a show. And still, it felt it felt coherent. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It's all one big mess. But basically, it's here and it's gone. And it's amazing how little an impact this whole royal jelly juggernaut made. Yeah, I guess it's the risk and also reward. Like, uh, in all honesty, I didn't really feel like it gave us anything new, or I, I don't feel like they gave us the payoff. It gave us Celestia laugh snorting, which is also cute. And if that's not enough, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to. What will please you? I mean, that's the only bonus out of this. But still. <clears throat> but anywho, um, Silver, what are you going to do for next week's episode? Well, if you thought this was over fast, wait, you see what what we tackle with uh, the IDW comics and My Little Pony issue seventy nine. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, uh, issue seventy nine is going to be a lot of fun. And also, like, a lot of... Wait, what? That's over? Wait, what? Yeah, a lot of Rush episodes this week. It's like... It's like, well, that was easy. Miller time. <laughs> uh, but anywho... If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitter... The show's Twitter account is at the MS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Well, you can find me in lots of places. Uh, let's see, on Twitter and DeviantArt, you can find me on MLP Silver Quill. And on Ko-fi and Patreon, just do a search for Silver Quill. You can support my videos, my editorials, my uh, comics, all of these good stuff. Then do a search on YouTube for After the Fact and, or Silver Quill, and there you shall find me doing art streams on Fridays and posting the occasional review. Ah, ah, ah. And on Wednesdays, you can find me on Equestria Daily publishing either a comic review or an editorial. Awesome, awesome. Guys, go check him out. His work is really great. Anyway, Tara, where can the people find you? Well, the people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Torterra1324. Or you can just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And search radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. With your support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And I am the Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MPS show. See ya. Adios. Bye-bye. Who got jokes? Oh, I I got jokes with Celestia eating that tower of cake. In a fitting tribute to a season one episode, she could get it all in. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's right. Where Torterra shies away, I have no shame. Well, I mean, since he's going there, I guess I could say that, you know, Celestia's got no gag reflex. Oh, now we're getting truly adult stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the MBS show after uh, dark. Whole tongue, whole tongue. Is that, is that uh, going to be covered by Sweetie Bot? <laughs> no, no, no. You, you know what? I, I do wonder do anybody listen near the end? Because this is where the juicy part comes. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> yep. Juicy. 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 Ha, ha. Juicy. 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 Juicy.